The next thing I'll show you is um, that if we want to uh, delete any ties, um, same thing, we can um, control drag, or we could just simply select a tie by clicking on it. Um, we can then click the delete selected ties button over here and remove that tie. Um, to add it again, I can then just uh, go back into draw mode. Uh, the other way to edit um, ties that are there is just by drawing over the top of them. So if, for example, I wanted to um, make this uh, entire echelon 100 millisecond delays, click and drag, and it now updates um, uh, both of those ties and replaces the ones that were there before. So a few ways that you can um, edit the, the tie-up plan. Um, and then once you're done, uh, you have the ability to analyze it down here. So you can choose the speed and then hit visualize timing. And it'll show you all of the holes firing in, uh, in sequence. You can obviously slow that down using the speed button here if you like. Uh, there are several other analysis tools up at the top here which are coming soon. Um, so look out for a later video on those, but those will be um, basically where you can toggle on your angle of initiation, um, your throw direction and your burden relief um, to, to view on the map. Um, we'll also be including a tool that allows you to uh, visualize um, via graph um, where in the shot uh, your maximum instantaneous charge is occurring um, or your maximum pounds per delay and seeing um, how that varies a across the time dimension for your, for your shot. So um, uh, with those analysis features uh, done, I'll come down to the reporting section. Um, and in the reporting section, the first report, um, the most obvious one is the timing plan. And this is basically a map. Um, so this will show you the, uh, the shot with the, um, uh, the photo background and it will show you your tie-up plan with the, um, the colored uh, leads there and uh, the timing for all of those. Um, and now even though this looks like a PDF, you can actually drag this around just in case you want to center it a bit better. Should start centered. Um, and again, you can change the, uh, the paper size up here if you want to print it bigger. Uh, the next thing um, I'll show you is um, uh, uh, this usage report. Um, the usage report is the exact same one as um, we saw in the loading module. Um, it's literally the exact same report that it pulls. Um, it's just another, another way to access that report. And you can see here that now that we have some surface initiators, um, it has added those to the list. And so we can see uh, that we need 14, uh, 17 millisecond uh, delays, uh, 1542s and 1575s. Um, I'll come back to the logger one because that relates more to electronic timing. All right.